What is going on everybody the time played here bringing you guys the investigation human trafficking all 10 hidden briefcase locations now before I get started the only way to access this side mission is if you reach act 2 mission 12 in the campaign also you guys are going to need to take out these sea toss towers which are these red symbols scattered all over the map I would say just to do all of them because it's part of the 100% completion. If you guys don't take out these CTOS towers, you will not be able to hack the buyer's phones. Coming in at number one, we have Gregory located at the top of the map. And that's what it looks like when you try to hack his phone and you haven't taken care of the CTOS towers yet. After you hack his phone, they'll give you a new destination and that's where the briefcase is located at. It's located right here. All you have to do is intrude right here, and yes, we are all familiar with hacking this way. Unfortunately, there is a timer on most of these right when you start to intrude. So I recommend pausing the video here, and you guys would know which way you guys need to turn all of these knobs. That way you guys don't have to run out of time. And pretty much all you're doing is hacking. You're trying to access a camera that's inside the room, where, wherever the briefcase is at. And there's other items you guys could hack. I just recommend doing that just to be on the safe side but the briefcases are all there but hey, just make sure you scan not them everybody knows the truth about this asshole i've got more on my list and they're going to lead me to their handler next we have david our next auction bidder coming in at number 2 right here on the docks located pushing its way towards the right side of the map kind of on the bottom and uh, you'll find him right here by all of these containers that are right here. You'll see him looking over the water. All you have to do is simply hack his phone and hear this conversation. Are you fucking kidding me? I thought Quinn had the cops taken care of. They better not figure out you work for me. If they investigate, my name's all over the lease deals in that fucking shipyard. I didn't get to where I am to have you cock it up. Don't talk to anyone else and hide the fucking case. If this doesn't blow over, I'll kill you myself. All you have to do from here is press down on the d-pad and it will give you a waypoint directly to where the briefcase is located at. But if you forget to do that I was so nice and showed you where the briefcase is located at. Kind of right here on the center of the map on the island. Now all you have to do is just intrude like you did before. You're going to have to do this for all 10 of them. And it's pretty simple. But if you guys want to pause it here just so you guys know what you guys have to do. So you guys don't run out of time. But this one's a pretty simple one. I don't think you guys need to do that. But uh, hack into it, you have access to the camera. You'll see the briefcase right there in the corner of the room. And if you want to hack, I believe that's a cell phone that's laying up there. Go ahead and hack that and read all the text messages that are going on. If you just want to be a little stocky. Busting its way into number 3, we have Martin. This guy was expelled from Harvard and is now a CFO. Located in the same island that we were just at, so that's good for our convenience. And you'll see him standing kind of in the middle next to a big clock that you see in the background. Now once you hack into his phone, instead of hearing a conversation, you'll be reading some text messages that don't really have any clues or anything, but you will find out where the briefcase is located at. After you're done with all the text messages, there'll be a blue message that appears on the right. All you have to do is click down on the d-pad and as you see right there, it just sent a way marker to where the briefcase is located at. But if you forget to set a way marker and you don't want to scan your whole map, it's right here located next to the ATM right there where my icon is at. It's wedged in between two buildings. Shouldn't be terribly hard to find for you guys, but all you have to do is intrude like I am doing right now. After you're done intruding, you're going to have to go through a time. This one is probably one of the easiest ones to finish because all you have to do is just put them all in a straight line. And once they're all in a straight line, you hacked in so it was very simple. And you'll find a phone kind of on a top of one of the shelves and the briefcase is laying down on the floor. Just scan the briefcase and that's all you have to do for the number three. Coming in at number four, we have Carl Brenwood making $7 million as his income as an executive manager. He's located on the very right side of the map. Shouldn't be too hard to find if you try to look for his icon and you guys are going to want to listen in on this conversation. What are you going to do, hmm? Cry? You're a useless tit. Do you think if I show the court the giant file I have on just how big of a useless tit you are that they won't applaud me? Want me to fire you? You seem like you're begging for it. There's no way I'm putting up with heat because of your incompetence. It's your department's fault there's been so many security breaches. How many times are you... Are you crying? What's that fucking snorting sound? 
You're a disgusting, useless tit. Never thought that the word tit can be used as an insult. Usually they're all compliments. But same thing guys, just press down on the arrow pad, set a waypoint, and it'll send you directly to where the briefcase is located at. But if you forgot to do that again, here is where it's located at on the center right of the map. And all you have to do is intrude. Uh, you, I think you have to intrude through the gate because I couldn't find a way in. And uh, this one's pretty simple. But if you want to go ahead and just pause it, that way you guys will know what you have to do. And uh, you guys will not have to run out of time. Once you hack inside, you'll be looking inside here. And the briefcase is located on the ground on the left side. And there's a laptop that's right there that you could hack into. Joshua Kramer as number 5. Now I don't know what I did here but I think I almost ran him over so I was not able to get a conversation out of him but I was still able to hack him. Joshua is a father of twins and he makes 145000 as a auctioneer. The briefcase is located in the loop in the alleyway of the station library. So if you guys did forget to set your marker if you haven't learned by now that's where it's located at. It'll be right here under in this alleyway right here on the left side. You just intrude into this guy. Once you intrude, this one's almost as simple as the last one. It's almost like a straight line, but it should be fairly simple. I don't think you're going to need to pause the video for this one. Once you're inside, you'll be able to see the briefcase right in front of you laying down tilted under a chair. Once you scan that briefcase, then that's all you have to do. Now we have number six, Adolfi Picornio. Also located in the loop, the pool site at Ocean Tower. This guy has a stolen private jet. He is a CEO and making a little over $3 million as his income. You will see him standing close to the ledge facing all of the towers, talking to his poor little daughter. Of course, Mom and I miss you, darling. You are our princess. Daddy's been very busy. There isn't any fun around the house without you. Seems all I do is work, work, and more work. It's good that you graduate soon. I need you to put my idiot staff in their place. Oh, Dad. When is your next school break? We can plan a trip, maybe. Go ahead and place that waypoint, but if you did not place that waypoint, it's located right here by one of the CTOS towers right near the train tracks. Once you arrive there, you're going to go ahead and intrude yet again. Once you're finally able to intrude successfully, you're going to come across this screen, which is fairly simple as well because it's one solid line from bottom to top, and you should have your hacking skills by this point. So once you're able to finally hack into this, you're going to come across into this room with a beer bottle, I believe, right in front of your face. You'll find a cell phone on the desk, and the briefcase will be in the background. If you guys decide to hack the cell phone on the desk, you'll see a Dolphy trying to find a way out of here. At 70% of the way there, we have Francis Barthes. He is located in the wards of the Rubble Construction Site. His income is $1.5 million as a CEO of the Industrial Minerals Site in South Africa. I understand. However, given recent events, I would say he owes me. This is a prime location. With Rushmore agreeing to waive taxes, it's a good investment. There isn't a need to relocate these residents, and the area is practically abandoned. I wait your report. Go ahead and set your waypoint, but if you are still forgetting to set your waypoint, the briefcase is located at Mad Mile, near Moeller's Grill area. Once you're finally able to locate the briefcase and successfully intrude, this one is going to be a little bit tricky, so I do recommend pausing the video here and looking at what I do to complete this hack. That way you guys don't have to run out of time and you guys won't get frustrated because sometimes this can get frustrating. But once you're finally able to hack into this and you're finally able to get into the camera and look at the apartment, you'll see the briefcase laying there on the floor near the desk and you'll see a cell phone I believe on the left side. Darius, the owner of two sports teams, coming in at number 8, making $1.6 million. He's located a mad mile along the Garden Planters. Are you angry over the vigilante? You're not alone. A recent WKZ opinion poll shows that a majority of people disapprove of the vigilante's actions, and police are pleased with the new trend. Sergeant David Walt explains, in a world now fueled by social media, a vigilante is an especially dangerous character. We don't want to see any Me Too spring up, because we'll most likely see them locked up 
or on a morgue slab. This man is anything but a hero. I have heard that vigilante message way too many times. Go ahead and set your waypoint, but the briefcase is located in Parker Square in the, the theater parking lot. On the left side of the map, you'll be able to find the briefcase there. You should be able to intrude right here on this red brick wall. You should be able to get in. This one's not too complicated. It's actually fairly simple. You just need to aim them all pretty much at each other and then uh, you'll be able to get in and hack inside. Once you guys are finally able to hack inside, you'll be able to see a laptop right in front of your face on a couch and you'll see the briefcase kind of in the background uh, up against the wall. So go ahead and scan the briefcase and if you want to hack into the computer, you could go ahead and do that. Number 9. Big Baller Anton Chenkov. He's located in Parker Square in Botanical Gardens. This guy is related to Ollie Garge. He owns a castle in Wales and he makes over 10 million dollars. You'll see him looking out in a lake. I can't wait to meet you. It's so exciting to think that I'll be dining with someone from Russian royalty. I don't know anything about Russia at all. I feel so embarrassed. Don't you adore our beautiful city? Have you been here before? How long do you plan on staying? Oh goodness, I am prattling on. I am so sorry to keep you waiting, but this traffic is horrendous. Order drinks, Mr. Shenkov. I'll be there soon. The club has a top chef at the country club. He's even been on television. Have a look at the menu. I will say it a million times more. So go ahead and set your waypoint. The briefcase is located in the wards. It's near the row house room. It's actually three blocks away from a sea toss tower. You will be able to intrude right here on the side of the building. This one again is actually a fairly easy one. They're not terribly too hard. Once you are able to hack your way into the room, you'll be able to see right away the briefcase in the background, hiding behind the room under the TV, and if you keep searching, you'll find a cell phone on top of one of the shelves, and if you read all the text messages, you'll see Anton trying to find a way to escape. Finally, the moment that we have all been waiting for literally 12 and a half minutes. Paul Benedict Henfield, located in Parker Square at the Parker Square Marina. He makes over a million dollars as a personal assistant and is a stolen art dealer. I hope this is muscle memory now, but the briefcase is located in Parker Square at the apartment behind the Owl Hotel. Once you're able to finally locate that, you guys will be able to intrude. This is probably one of the more harder ones you guys have to do to try to hack and in getting into the camera. So if you guys want to go ahead and pause this video here, then uh, I recommend to do so. But once you guys are finally able to hack inside, you'll see the brief the briefcase the right there laying next to the chair. There's one name left, the handler. Joseph DeMarco. He hides behind this pristine public reputation, but he's as sick as the rest of them. Once you complete all ten of these hidden briefcases, you'll be able to unlock the Magnate LE. There's nothing different between the Magnate LE and the regular Magnate that you could purchase for $25,000. Other than this car is a progression reward, it's like a special edition type of car. You want to roll standard or you want to rock in style, that's your choice. Now some of you may have noticed that when going through this video it said 10 or 8 out of 11 hidden briefcases. Well the 11th one is after you complete all 10 human trafficking missions, there's a final mission that you could complete if you want to. Completing this mission will only get you like the achievement trophy, so it's up to you if you guys want to do it or not. I did not do it, but it's located right here if you guys did want to complete it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It would mean the world to me if you guys left a like before you guys left, and I will see you guys in my future Watchdog videos. Thank you guys for watching.